So the first unit I teach in science is interactions within ecosystems. And we just talk about how like everything is dependent on everything else. And if one part of the ecosystem goes, then it's going to have a snowball effect. And then we also were doing at the same time a unit in English language arts on finding the courage and um, fighting for what you believe in and standing up for your beliefs. <laughs> so, and then we found out about this peat moss thing. And so I knew we had to do something about it. So there's four big parcels of land just south of town. My students have watched videos on how this is done. So like they wipe out all the trees, it just gets like cleared. And then it looks like a, just a, a field. And then there's little canals where they drain the water out and then um, they put it into piles, they vacuum it up and they dry it out. And yeah, that's how they do it. And the amount of, um, they say that they're only going to do little sections at a time. If we get rid of the clean drinking water, what, what's going to happen? We could do an online petition. So um, I said, I'll write it up and I'll post it and then we'll just watch it every day and then share it and, and see what happens. And we're like, what if we got a thousand signatures? Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> so, and we thought that was ambitious. <laughs> we got like 20,000 and some, I can't remember what the number is now, it changes every day, so it's crazy. I just hope that the government knows that there's a strong opposition and that they're not gonna allow this to go through because we don't want it here. It's, it's too precious and it's not sustainable. So that's kind of what we're hoping for.